Our God is a God who can make impossible into possible. Hello, praise the Lord. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope you all are doing safe and sound. We are safe and sound not because what we have and what we are. We are safe and sound because of his grace, because of our God's grace. Dear friends, God does extraordinary things in the lives of ordinary people who trust him with what they have. Our God is same today, tomorrow, yesterday. The same God is willing to do extraordinary things in our lives. If he wants to do extraordinary things in our lives or you are willing to receive that extraordinary things in your life, you should do four important things. I want to share about a woman from Bible who received extraordinary miracles in her life. Let's read 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 1 to 7. The wife of a woman from the company of the prophets cried out to Eliza, Your servant, my husband is dead and you know that he revealed the Lord. But now his creditors is coming to take my two boys as their slaves. Eliza replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Eliza said, Go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut down the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it to one side. Just left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were filled, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, There is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debts, and you and your sons can live on what is left. Hallelujah! What we See in this text is a woman caught in the net of life contradiction. She is in the midst of crisis. She is facing the challenge face to face of contradictions and circumstances of crisis, hardship. One thing is clear that she don't know what to do. She is in the situation where she don't know what to do. Have you ever found in your lives, in the situation where you don't know what to do, in your marriage life or in a place where what to choose, whom you should choose or you in a position with financial crisis. Yes, in everybody's life there is a situation where we don't know what to do. Even this woman, she's in a situation where she don't know what to do. She lost her husband, she lost everything what she had. She lost her money. She didn't have anything except a small jar of oil. And she's in a situation where she's gonna lose her two children. In that situation, this wise woman, what she did is, she ran to Prophet Eliza and she cried out, Yes, dear friends, if you are in a situation where you don't know what to do, the first step you should take is you should run to God. You should plead God. You should ask God. Have you ever do this? If you are in a situation where you don't know what to do, do you cry out to God? Do you ask God 
what i should do right now i am in a position where i don't know what to do this woman went to prophet eliza and she's crying she's asking prophet what i should do now all the creditors are coming and they are taking my sons as a slaves what i should do now in that situation she ask god the first step when you don't know what to do you should take the first step is you should ask god you should cry out to god you should plead god the second step she did is she listen everything what prophet elias asked her to do she just kept quiet and she just listening is in our lives many times we'll ask god when we don't know what to do we'll ask god but many of us we didn't have the habit of listening we don't listen what god wants to tell us we don't listen we don't give our heels to hear what god wants to tell us we don't listen the second step you should take is when you are in a situation where you don't know what to do you should listen this woman listen everything what eliza told her to the third step she took is she did everything what prophet eliza asked her to do she did exactly what he told her to do she went from eliza she asked all her neighbors the vessels she took all that vessels into a house she shut the doors she started pouring the oil after all the jars were filled again she kept all the jars aside and she ran to eliza again she is asking what i should do what a wise woman she is that's the reason she received a great blessing if you are in a position today if you are in a position where you don't know what to do or you are in a situation where you don't know what to do what decision you should take or you in a worried life or you suffering with your wife you are suffering with your husband and you don't know what the decision you should take if you are in that position please run out to god ask him listen to him and do what god ask you to do If you can do these four steps you can see extraordinary things in your life God can change everything a god is so great a god he can do anything there is nothing is impossible to him a god is a god who can make impossible into possible if your life was spoiled completely and you are in a position where you don't know what to do or you suffering with lots of problems in your life just ask god cry out to god plead him ask him he can change your situations if you are ready to ask god and you are ready to listen to god and you are ready to do what he ask you to do you will see extraordinary things in your life today itself hallelujah if you believe our god is so great just ask him just tell what the situation you are facing right now you just pour out your heart before god and you'll receive greater things you'll see great blessing in your life hallelujah praise the lord god bless you